what if you just said, can I get a better price? And I'm like, eh, I don't know, we only mark them up a couple hundred. Oh, see, now I've given you hope for a better deal. Do you feel me? What does he want now? I want a better deal. And now he smells blood. There's a difference between being a professional and being disrespectful. Okay, not one time did he say, sir, if you don't come in here, right, then I cannot give you a number on your car. He never said that to me. That was great, he did a good job. He said, my general manager, he kept putting it off somebody else. He said, my general manager gives top dollar every single time for vehicles that have been serviced the most, that have been taken the best care of. You sound like you got a good vehicle. He's gonna take great care of that. I just need you to come in. Look, we'll beat that offer, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? He just kept going with it, he kept going with it, he kept going with it. That is a term in closing called pushing through. Okay, Daryl, how many guys just don't push through and they break somewhere along the way? When you lose uncertainty, when you lose, you lose uncertainty, now I become uncertain, now there's a problem, okay? You did a good job. By the way, I would never get mad at him not giving me that number. And then eventually, what did I do at the end? I said, I'm not coming in, because then I turned on him, right? I was like, I'm not coming in unless you give me a price. And then at that point, well, no, but at that point, he stopped, and he was like, okay, what do I do? Do I challenge him again? He should have went third party. Okay, what does third party closing mean? Listen, number one, he used third party as in like, like, it's not my policy, right? Like, I didn't put this policy in place that I can't bid numbers over the phone. My general manager does, because he wants to get more money than anybody's ever given in the world for vehicles, right? So he wants to see him, he's in charge, right? So the boss is the one who's actually gonna be personally taking care of that, it has nothing to do with me. I'm gonna show you the vehicle, make sure you love it. He's gonna take care of the trade. This is gonna be an easy deal, sir. Hey guys, what's up, it's Andy. Do me a favor real quick, whatever you're doing, stop right now. Grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, write down my cell phone number, 918. 210-0254, 918-210-0254. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you need help with, you wanna to go to the next level, you wanna to go to the next gear, you wanna make more money, I don't care what it is, you need more leads, shoot me a text, let me know what I can help you with. Let's get back to the video. Do you feel me? He kept putting it off on the boss, right? Now listen, if you're in the room right now, okay, if you're brand new, this is gold. If you've been doing it for a long time, this is a great reset point. Okay, reset, okay? This is a real objection. It's crawling the internet everywhere right now. But I want you to think about what is third party closing? Does anybody tell me? This is where you're gonna use another customer as an example of what we did for them, right? So if I was talking to him, I could say, I could say, hey, look, I really understand, but I just wanna explain this to you. So um, two days ago, Daryl came into the dealership, right? And I would say something like, two days ago, we had a lady, her name was Mrs. Johnson. And she said the same thing on the phone. She said, hey, everybody's been giving me top dollar for my vehicle everywhere, but I need to know what you're giving me before I come down. Look, I gave her an offer. We all use the same books, we all do. Like you could go to every store, they don't have a better one than I have. We all are given the same one, okay? At the end of the day, it's just really who wants your business the most. And I wanna tell you this, are you familiar with what an independent buyer is? Okay, an independent buyer is, is often a person who gets more money for trade-ins than a dealership. What they do is they come through two or three times a month and when they're here, if you're here the same time that they're here, they often just pay crazy money. So our goal would be to have you here when we have an independent buyer here. Now, I don't know if you have a magic rabbit foot in your pocket or if you've ever won the lottery because you just have. We actually have one scheduled to be here today and tomorrow, okay? So this is amazing. So what time can you make it down? Right now or would after work be better? And I'm gonna explain to you what they're gonna do. Mrs. Johnson, she was here two days ago and we were giving her about 8,000 for her trade-in, okay? She came in, the independent buyer gave her 12,000. She was blown away, she bought her new vehicle and she drove out of here. She said, I've never been offered this much money for your trade. All I can say is that same experience that happened with her, you're gonna have the same experience. What time can you make it in? Now, did I tell him what he's getting for his trade? Did I tell him what her trade-in was? I just used numbers. Does that make sense? I painted a picture of what this would look like for him. And what he saw was his state. I said, what would that look like for you? Everything, right? I made him feel the same state that she was in, which basically was on this deal and we're not talking about numbers. Now listen to me, I wanna explain this to you. This is all in the training. If, you're, if you study me, I've given you these word tracks. It's all in the training. The question is, if you study me and you still can't say this stuff, why not? It's because you don't want to become the best. It's only because of one thing. Guys, I want this. I don't care what anybody says about you. If people say, she sucks, 
I want him to say like this. I don't like Daryl, but you can't deny he's the best. Okay, I'm cool with that. I don't care if you like Daryl or not, okay? I want you guys to understand this. I want people to have their soul taken because of how good you are. Well, you made it till the end of the video. You're a true one percenter. I've already got your next training video lined up and ready to go. Click on it. Before you do that, like the video, subscribe. Make sure you set your notifications. Every single day I drop out free, F-R-E-E, -E, free training videos for you. Click on the next video. And by the way, if you loved it, share it with a friend. Do that for me. Thank you so much. Let's kill it.